how and when to execute the perfect bow and arrow choke from the back. This is one of my favorites. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. Looking today at definitely one of my favorite chokes and I think a favorite of anyone who's tried it long enough to get to know it is the bow and arrow choke from the back. So if I've got my partner's back here, the problem with doing a lot of chokes is that say I'm right-handed, which I am, I want my right hand over, right? My right hand over is like my kill hand. So if I'm normally doing chokes, I always want him on this side. So I always want him on my right hand side. That's just a great rule of thumb. It helps your attacks and it helps minimize his defensive opportunities. But a lot of the time, I've got my partner like this, but this guy's a smart guy. And he's gonna put me on that side, away from my top hand. Now, when you're here, this is a real problem, because a lot of your normal attacks that you can do are now countered and thwarted. However, if I use this opportunity just to grab in with my right hand, because he'll feel quite safe here. Okay, so I'm gonna hold him tight and I'm just gonna hold the lapel and I put my right thumb in. You'll notice I turn the lapel. Once I've got my right thumb in now, I'm not gonna just let go and start opening my legs. I'm gonna hold him and I'm gonna reach down and I'm gonna grab his pants. Even if I can only grab near the waistband, that's no problem. I'm now going to start opening out my right leg and left leg and bringing them onto the other side of his body. However, don't try to choke from here. It's not strong enough. I want to wiggle my butt out till it's under his left shoulder. So as I start to wiggle, wiggle. Once my butt is under his shoulders, my right heel comes on top of his far shoulder, right here, okay? And now I keep my elbow down and I stretch and I get an easy tap. You'll notice that there's all body under Paul here. So if he tries to do an escape, like for instance, get his head out, there's nowhere for it to go. That's my body right under there. See, if I do it all the way to here, sometimes his head can get out. So when we do this, guys, the key, the green light, is that he's put me on my bad side. So he's put me on the side I don't want to be. I want my live choking hand to be on that dominant side. So he's put me on the bad side. So I get a collar and I get the pants. So this helps, even if I never choke this guy, it helps he can't escape. So if Paul tries to turn towards me, right, he gets choked. If he tries to turn away, I've got his pants. So I have him under good control. So all I need to do to finish now is take my feet out and start wiggling my butt till it gets under his shoulders. And I'm using my right foot to help drive that. Now my right heel comes onto his shoulder and it's done deal. okay? So the bow and arrow choke is really, really, really strong. Um, I would definitely advise not leg pressing through your partner and turning them into a bow shape because you're not there to try to hurt their spine, you're just there to choke them. So I think sometimes beginners get distracted by doing this, which is kind of really strong, but I'm not trying to hurt your neck, I'm trying to choke you. So um, hurting your back or neck is not conducive to my goals. I mean, chances are you're a training partner. And even if not, like you're a competitor and I'm competing against you, I don't dislike you, I still don't want to hurt you, I just want to get a victory. So I think if you learn to do the bow and arrow choke right, it's a really safe choke and it's super deadly. And it's a great answer for when we're stuck on the bad side of the bat, which can often mean for people that that's it, they've now lost the bat. So instead of losing it, let's take advantage, let's bow and arrow choke these people. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video guys. For more videos, click here to subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour long series for free on foot locks and how to defend foot locks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom guys, I'll see you next time.